That's exciting. Anytime Wildlife Encounters pays us a visit, and I don't know if this one's going, going home with them or not. We'll talk more about this in a moment. She's so precious. She the is. organization has a two-pronged focus, educate the public about our natural world, but they also offer a home to animals that need one. Yeah, Kip Smith returns. Good to see you, Kip. How are you Welcome doing? Back. Pretty good. Good yeah, to see good you guys. Good to see you. Since a home show. I, did, <laughs> I know. He, he, uh, did you run into him? Yeah, he, was, he gave me a behind the, behind oh, the scenes. Great. My son, a behind the scenes cool. tour of the animals after in between. Yeah, I got a, a photo of the snake and the alligator. A, the big snake, yeah. It was We've awesome. got your residents, a few of them, here today. <laughs> this one is so docile. That one's a little more high energy. What yes. are they? Uh, these are fennec foxes. Uh -huh. And this is Oscar and that's Sassy. Oscar is a little hyper. Sassy, if you pet her, she'll just fall asleep. Where do you see these guys? Where do you see them at? You're going to find them in Africa. Africa. And yeah, how so did these you come the to have them? Uh, Sassy actually was born at Wildlife Encounters uh -huh. and Oscar actually came from a zoo. What uh, do they eat, Kip? Uh, these guys will eat pretty much anything they find. Mice, birds, uh, they love scorpions though. Uh -huh. And They're, why are their ears so big? That's got to serve a purpose. It does. It? Two purposes. One, yeah. it allows them to be able to hear. These guys are really small. They have a lot of predators that will try to go after them and it helps them cool themselves off. Yeah. Can they can you release a lot more heat that way. <laughs> and Oscar, he actually gets his name. Uh, he came from a uh, he was came from a zoo. He was uh -huh. really really sick. We had to bottle feed him with a little eyedropper, and he looked like Oscar the Grouch. He didn't, wasn't very healthy, oh, so, so it took us a long they? time. Sassy's ten years old. He's oh, two gosh. years old. So they're wow. small. How are they different? Because I see foxes in our neighborhood once in a while. Those are small foxes. Yeah. These are really cute. The other ones are cute. Not as cute. How are they different? I mean, they're just a different type Yeah, of we're going to find like red foxes and things like yeah. that here in the States. These yeah. guys are going to come from Africa. And these are a little cuter too. They, had, they get bathed regularly. So we're going to see uh -huh. the wild animals. They're going to be well, running in the dirt and mud and things like that. And schools. And we'll maybe talk about that and why you love going to visit with these kiddos. We have a couple of um, so helpers here today. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what do we oh. bring something else oh, in? Oh, we brought a few other cool animals with you. Yes, Is that did. the hedgehog? Here. I mean, he, oh, this breaks my heart to hand her over. Well, you can keep her for a while. Oh, she's so sweet. And then this yeah, is a brought a hedgehog for you guys. Oh, gosh. And you can hold him if is you he want. Is soft? He is, yeah. Uh, they're a little spiky, oh, but yeah, it's no, not going to hurt you. Do they, oh, does it hurt? Jeez, that's not soft. You're a liar, kid. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, my gosh. They are not soft. I feel soft. like I've got needles they're, they're, into the palms of my hands. I think you're, my hands are just used to it, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I would say. So they, this is their protection, right? They kind yes. of roll up into a ball. And exactly, yeah. He's going to roll up in the ball and protect is he himself. Is sneezing, or what's he's, this mo movement? He's trying to scare you. Uh, what we're seeing are right now, he's scaring you. Never, are you scared there? <laughs> he's never smelled you before, so he's just trying to protect himself. If I hold him, he'll start to come out of his little ball. Oh, he will. And do these needles? Come out or so are no? They, they don't. They're not like porcupines. Okay. Their, their quills do not come out. They're in a Are they related body. to porcupines? Uh, no. Yeah. These guys are porcupines are rodents. Uh, these yep. guys are going to be insectivores. So they're running around. They're going to be eating insects and bugs all day long. Uh -huh. All throughout the desert. Up. I mean, his spine got to be awfully flexible. Ball. Oh yeah, yeah. If we roll him over on his back, then he naturally curls up in that ball. Into and a He does that just ball. to be able to protect himself. Uh huh. <laughs> now what 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 eats these things? A lot of birds of prey will eat these. A lot a lot of animals want to try to mess with them. Yeah, hawks and owls. They swipe down. They have those big talons. They pick them up and they so eat. So even them. if That's they curl up in a ball, will these hawks get them? The oh hawks, yeah, he the doesn't have smuggling? quills underneath. So you guys can see he he has hair just like us people right. underneath him. Uh -huh. So he doesn't have a way to protect his stomach. So they pick him up and they eat the stomach. He part. is oh. cute. I like him a lot better now that I'm not holding him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, a good, he's a good little guy. Um, we're stepping up a little bit in size on this next creature. Uh, so we'll swap out our hedgehog. Holy Moses. Uh, this looks maybe this, from Australia. Yeah. I have no way to base. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I could grab him. Uh, what this is, is this his name is Pete. Uh -huh. Pete actually comes from Argentina. Argentina. Okay. Uh, we can see a, at least. Well, he's hungry. And what is he? Pete? Uh, he's a rodent. These what, are actually the what, third kind of largest rodent? rodent. They're called Patagonian cavies. They look like he's related Pat to a kangaroo, though. That's they, why I said that. They do. Yeah. They kind of describe these guys. If you look up more information on them, they describe them as a mix between kangaroos, guinea pigs, and rabbits. Does he have a pouch? No, he doesn't have a pouch. No, no pouch. Nope. Just yep. like those, the lean, long legs and yeah, sort of the shape of his head, I thought. Um, <laughs> so how old is he, and where did you get him? Uh, Pete's about eight years old. Uh, he actually came from a zoo, too. We tried setting up a breeding program with Pete from another mm -hmm. Patagonian KV in 2008. These were put on a threatened list, uh, oh. so they're dying off. Pretty oh, quick. Really? Does, that that, does this guy jump? Does he a jump? He does. They can jump six feet in the air. Oh, wow. Can they're we do extremely that? athletic. Can we do it no. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've never seen it. We've only seen him do it once. Oh, he's uh, only jumped once. He was uh, out running around and we have a big stream where he lives outside and someone's what they just walked mean? upon him. I they didn't see him. He got scared, jumped up oh. in the air. Oh. So you, the only way to do it is scare him. And we don't want to do that. In terms yeah. of conservation, <laughs> why is that such an important part of the conversation you have with kids when you're taking animals like Pete out? We're trying to connect them with these animals. We mm -hmm. always hear that the rainforests are being destroyed, the oceans. But if we actually bring an animal to the kids, they mm -hmm. kind of get more of a connection and feel and actually give them a reason to want to, to recycle. Take care of and, them. Yeah, try to conserve our natural resources. Oh, wow. what, what are the kids? This? 
Well, oh, we got oh, some. We got I got excited. Else. I'm okay. sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> no, go ahead. Okay, let's, let's we have about three road. minutes. I want to make let's sure we get to now. this oh, one. Yeah. Um, a beautiful bird. Does, they, does it does it get offended when you just call it a rodent? Because <laughs> oh, I know <laughs> it's not really just That's a rodent. Not. I don't think he speaks English. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. This is Cyrano. Is this one? If Cyrano you guys actually Mike. wave to Cyrano, he'll wave back to you. Hi. Want to wave, bud? There you go. Yes, he <laughs> did. <laughs> we'll do it again. Wave again. There he you go. He does wave. What kind of parrot? He's a green winged macaw. A macaw, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to find these guys all throughout South and Central America. And I know their beaks, when they, when they bite down, the power can you behind. Can turn him to the camera a little bit so our viewers can see his oh, face? Yeah. The Thanks, power Ed. behind their beaks. Talk about that. It's extremely strong. These guys can crack open the strongest of nuts, like the Brazil nut, and they can crack that open and eat the seed inside. Could he so, bite my finger off? Uh, probably not off, but you're, it's going to hurt. Yeah. It's going to hurt a lot <laughs> more than hurt. the lemur. <laughs> or so, the yeah, lemur. It's, well, it's going right. to hurt pretty bad. That's a whole yeah. other. Um, story. Yeah, they have a really strong beak. So this animal, you know, if, it, if you went in the wild, try to grab one, it's going to bite you. It's going to hurt really yeah. bad. They're very smart, though, right? Because he, you said right away he could wave. He oh, must yeah. have been taught how to do that. He Hi. does. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yeah, kids love that. We go to schools, he starts waving to the kids. <laughs> Gives them attention. He can talk. We can see if he wants to. Do I say hello? Do I say hi? Hi. <laughs> so he will speak. He sings songs. Who taught him how to wave? Uh, we actually did. Yeah, kids you were did? waving to him, and then we kind of he started picking up his wow. foot, and we encouraged that little. We give him a snack. And Do we have any other animals? Uh, yeah. We okay. Have one while we're more. while we're That's switching them out, I want to talk briefly about Omaha Gives. You're yes. one of the organizations on that list. Yes, today. we are. So yeah. what do you do with the money that comes in on a day like this? Uh, it's going to go all towards the animals. It's going <clears> to <throat> go help fund. Yeah. Our educational programs oh, uh, for us to go out to schools and talk to kids about wildlife about, conservation. About tarantulas. And about tarantulas. For yes, you do. Now, listen, Mary, she wanted to get in there and touch every animal that you had. So it's only fair that she I touches try to be a good and sport, plays with this one, Kip, too. I, this might be where the line is. Line us. If we can put him on your shoulder. Yeah, put him on your shoulder. Yeah, let's put, don't put say it we on did. her <laughs> shoulder. Kip, don't I put it on her shoulder. Kip, Kip, here, Mike. Stay right there. We'll put him on you. If you ever if you want to come back to this show ever again, you can come back. He can come back anytime he wants. Oh, no. Wait, you say that until he starts climbing up your face. Well, <laughs> if it touches my neck, Kip, I can't, I can't assure you what's going to happen. So what, tell us can, what should we know about this creature, because this uh, is the source of a lot of phobias, you know. This is a tarantula, and this is what one, one of the reasons we like to bring this animal out, mm -hmm. to get people over that phobia. People don't realize how important they Kip, are to us. Kip, he's going over the top. <laughs> he's going over the top, they, Kip. <laughs> Kip! <laughs> <laughs> they don't realize how important they are. These guys keep Sorry. our insect population down, so they're actually really important. Really important to, us to the people. ecosystem. Yes, they are, and it's mm -hmm. one of those animals we're scared of, but we don't realize how important they are. But is it poisonous? They are. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we probably should have told you that before we put it on him. But. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so He's poisonous. Like Listen, wildlife encounters, this is, for us, it's about excitement, but it's also about education when it comes to their mission. Learn more online at wildlifeencounters.org. And if you'd like to support today as we give, you're more than welcome to do it. Kip, thank you. And to our handlers today, thanks. Thank guys. you, guys. Thanks, yeah. thanks for all the information <laughs> prior, too. You're yeah, welcome. he's poisonous. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> The guests of the Morning Blend start their day with coffee from Pears Gourmet, the official coffee of the Morning Blend. To learn more about Pears, go to OmahaMorningBlend.com. Click on the Pears logo right on the home page. All right, after the break, where you can learn to ride and learn on this brand new bike. We've got it in studio. That's right. Plus, Patty Duke, she's coming to Omaha. You can be there at 949.